We talked briefly about outliers when we were talking about the, the mean, the arithmetic average. And the, I told you that the outlier is a data point that's far away from the other data points in your data set. And that's entirely true. So an outlier is a data point that's much lower or much higher than the rest of your data set. And that kind of makes a difference because it can pull, a, an outlier can pull your data away from the mean and make it have a different distribution. So making the mean not the best measure. So if your data consists of words, remember we did some that had words, the best measure of center was going to be the mode. And that's because it doesn't require numbers. It can use words and it's just counting how, how frequently a word occurs. With um, median, remember you have to be able to order your data and you can't order colors. There's no one order that makes more sense than another. So if your data can't be ordered, you can't find the median. And if it can't be added, you can't find the mean. So the mode is the only thing you can use with words. Um, if you have no outliers, I'm going to tell you the mean is the most accurate and that's because it takes into account every data point and they all get equal weighting because you add all of the data points together and divide by how many you have. But if you have an outlier, it skews your mean, it pulls your mean over towards the outlier. So we don't want to use it if we have an outlier, but otherwise it's the best measure of center. If the data has outliers, then we're going to want to use the median because it's not affected by outliers. Because remember with a median, we don't actually add in the value for each of the data points. We just count where's the middle one. And so if you have an outlier at the high end, it's not going to affect which is the middle data point. It's just going to be there in the center anyway. Okay, so those are the three mean, median, and mode, and when we would want to use each one of them.